Hey guys, how's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. It's way awesome to have you guys back here today. Um, I have a slight announcement before we go ahead and start the episode. I am now recording videos using my brand new microphone. It just got in the mail from Amazon today, and uh, this is going to be the first video that I'm recording with it. It is the Blue Yeti. Um, previously, I was using another blue microphone, the Blue Snowball. And uh, it was a pretty good microphone, but I decided to make the upgrade to the Yeti because it was on sale. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Hopefully you guys can notice a slight difference in quality. But anyway guys, enough with that. On to the episode. In the last one, we uh, finished up things with Donald Love and he kind of made a surprise disappearance on us. However, today we're back working with Asuka, who I'm very glad to be working with again because I love doing missions for the Yakuza. But anyway, why don't we go ahead and jump into her first mission of the day. Espresso to go. Miguel, you lucky son of a bitch. Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. Uy, I'm muy bueno. Exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for Spank. Apparently Miguel underestimated your plans for Spank too, if you know what I'm saying. Ow. The Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling Spank through the street stalls. Those we bastards. No but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash them ah. to splinters. Ah. Asuka, by any chance have you ever considered pursuing a career in adult entertainment? Because I have a feeling you'd be pretty good at it. That Miguel sure is one lucky SOB, but okay. Uh, after you trash the first stall, you'll have eight minutes? Okay. Uh, totally missed how many stalls there are supposed to be, but that is a-okay. We're gonna go ahead and move out and see if we can take these guys out. Um, actually, I'm wondering, since we're smashing these stalls, I assume with our car, might it be better to have a more durable car? Because I know the Yakuza Stinger is actually really fast, but it also has a tendency to blow up very quickly. Oh well, we're about to find out. So let's run over that coffee! Fuck you, Starbucks! Okay, well, that doesn't seem too hard, except that, uh... Okay, there's the next one. That's weird. So they only show up in your map when you're close to them? Well, I guess that, that can't be too difficult because the game world isn't that big, but still, it'd be nice to at least know where they all are before I start. Because I imagine once I get down to one or two stalls, it's going to be really hard to find them. But okay, let's go ahead and keep up the good pace we have right now. Um, guys, I'd actually really like to get some feedback uh, during the episode. Since I am using a new microphone, go ahead and let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you like the previous microphone better. Me personally, though, I'm really enjoying this microphone. I won't get to hear what the audio quality is like until I listen to the video playback later. But um, I'm liking some of the features that this thing has. Um, again, it's the Blue Yeti. So if you guys are familiar with Blue microphones, they make really good high-quality microphones. Um, a lot of Let's Players use them for their recordings, and so I figured why the hell not. But um, already, I noticed a lot of features that this microphone has that my previous microphone didn't. Um, for one, I can actually hear my audio play back through the microphone while I'm recording. Um, or through my headphones, rather. So while I'm recording, I can actually hear myself talk, which... Admittedly, it was a little weird at first, and I had to get used to it, but I'm really enjoying it now. It lets me make sure that I'm not clipping the microphone or anything like that, so that's handy. There's also some adjustment dials on the back of the microphone for gain and for audio settings and that kind of thing. Uh, so that I can set it up better for, I guess, podcast-style recording as opposed to, uh using it as like an interview style microphone or a microphone that picks up everything around it. So um, again, I'll have to go back and listen to the audio before I decide just how much I like this microphone. Because um, of course, if the audio doesn't come out that good, then what's the point, right? But already, I really, really enjoy a lot of the things that this microphone is doing. It also feels a lot sturdier. The uh, blue snowball that I was using before didn't really feel all that sturdy. It kind of felt really cheap and plasticky. Which, um, you know, it was a cheaper product, but I expect a little more heft to it, I guess. Just so I feel like if I drop it, it would survive the impact. The blue snowball, I think that thing would break pretty easily, but, um, this feels pretty durable and rugged. Like, I could probably toss this thing across the room and it'd probably work. But yeah, maybe what I'll do, um, later on down the line is do a comparison video when I get the chance. Do some audio recordings with this microphone and with the snowball. And, uh, that'd probably give you guys a better idea of the audio quality. And, um, I don't know, maybe like a little mini-review and comparison between them. But, anyway, it looks like... See, I initially thought that we were going to have to stick to Stanton in order to, uh, get all these, uh, coffee houses taken care of, all these coffee shacks, or whatever you want to call them. But it looks like there's some of them in the other islands. We're back here, and I'm kind of worried because I know a lot of the gangs in this area want me dead. Primarily the Mafia. 
But as long as I can keep up this pace, I think we'll be doing pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I only got... Well, I don't even know how many things I have to blow up. I totally forgot. Also, explain this to me. How does running into a coffee stand with my car cause it to light on fire? I mean, I'm not a physicist or anything like that. I took a couple of years of science back in high school that are a little bit foggy, but I'm pretty sure that that's not supposed to happen. But okay, there are still espresso stalls in Shoreside Vale. Well, crap, I gotta get all the way over there in four and a half minutes. Um, I imagine there's probably an underground tunnel somewhere around here that I can take. Though I'm not entirely positive where that would be. Well, let me switch cars real quick because mine's about ready to explode. Um, you know, I really don't know. I think, th okay, there probably is an underground tunnel, but if I try to look around for it, I'll probably get lost. So, um, let me just take the bridge back to Stanton and then I can take, uh, either the bridge or the underground tunnel to get over to Shoreside Vale and we will be good. Oh man, though. I really love the convenience of online shopping. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. Uh, the microphone came in the mail just a couple days after I ordered it from Amazon. And even me, living all the way out here in Hawaii, and usually UPS or United States Postal Service or whatever, they have a really hard time delivering to me in a quick and efficient manner, but for some reason, Amazon just has their shit together. They are really on it. Um, I got Amazon Prime, so I got uh, free two-day shipping, which is pretty sweet. Also, I forgot the bridge is actually over here. Um, they have free two-day shipping for Prime users, which is pretty damn sweet. Um, I can't use it because I live in Hawaii, but once I move to Seattle, I'm totally exploiting the hell out of that. And, um, it's really cool because I order a lot of things that are really heavy, like guitars and amplifiers, which a decent-sized amplifier could be in upwards of 50 to 100 pounds, um, depending on what you're buying. And so to be able to get something that heavy shipped to you for so cheap and so quickly, it's pretty amazing. But I guess that my point and the reason I'm bringing that up is because I got the microphone so damn quickly. I only ordered it a few days ago, and I got two days shipping on it, and lo and behold, it got here in two days. Who would have thought it? I also got a pop filter for it, which, um, I had a pop filter for my old microphone, too. But, uh, I figured I'd get one that's actually made by Blue, the company that makes the microphone. And I have to say, I'm really, really enjoying the setup. Uh, maybe I'll take some pictures and show you guys what the microphone actually looks like. Um, you know, once I get to Seattle and get a more stable setup, I would love to do a setup video and show you guys, uh, how I record my Let's Plays and all that stuff, if that's something you're interested in. So uh, just let me know if you guys have any interest in that, and I'll try and get around to doing that later on next month, probably. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to get out to Seattle. It's gonna be so much easier to record my videos. Right now, I'm recording them out of my bedroom at my parents' house because, uh, well, I was recording them in my apartment while I was going to school here in Hawaii. Um, while I was going to the university where I live, I had my own apartment. But since I'm going to be moving back to Seattle, the lease on my apartment ended. And I'm spending about a month with my parents before I fly out to Seattle and start up school there. But um, basically, it's really hard for me to record my videos. I can only record them when they're out of the house, which kind of sucks. Um, because they don't leave the house very often. But, um, that's the only way I can get the house to be quiet enough for me to actually record my videos without a bunch of background noise. Um, luckily I haven't had too much trouble. I've had a couple really good times where I've been able to record a bunch of videos. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of just dealing with that. So I'm going to be stoked when I get to Seattle. Um, I probably, well, not probably, I will have a roommate in my apartment at my university. But, uh, it's going to be a much better setup, I think. And, hell, if he's down for it, then I'd probably like to do some co-op stuff, too, if he wants to record a video with me. Um, that's something I've really wanted to do. There's a lot of games I've limited myself from doing because they're mostly multiplayer based. And, um, god, that would be kind of cool. If I get my roommate in on doing some videos with me, that would be pretty sweet. I'm really hoping for a gamer because I know if he's not into video games, I will probably annoy the ever-loving shit out of him. Oh my god! What the fuck? That car came out of nowhere. Hey, asshole, you're driving on the wrong side of the road, doofus. I mean, okay, I know I do that all the time. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. But, um, oh god, where's that coffee stand? I don't even know where it is. That might be the last one, too. Shit! Um, yeah, I know I drive on the wrong side of the road all the time, but that seriously messed me up. What the fuck? Oh my god, okay. I think I failed this. Unless I can get to that coffee stand in the next couple seconds. Wait, I might be able to do this. Oh my god, can we just hop over this wall? Pretty, pretty, please. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't crash, don't... Fuck. Yeah, okay, I'm screwed. Shit. No, wait, there's a taxi. We can still do this. Salvage it. Uh, yeah, we got no hope here. 
Eh, shit. Okay, well, whatever. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go back and redo the mission, I guess, but that's just really annoying. Let me vent a little bit first. Ugh. Alright, I'm good. Let's go ahead and go back. Alright, so I'll go ahead and fast forward the video, guys, and once I'm roughly at about the same point in the mission again, I will rejoin you. So, uh, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys back in a moment. Oh, no, 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 fuck! You gotta be shitting me, really? Ah, oh, That is so not cool. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, my wad level just got way out of control on that one. Um, you know what, guys? If I keep fast-forwarding the video, it's still gonna be too long, so... As much as I'd like to just fast-forward the video, I think that's gonna take up too much time. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut the video here and rejoin you guys when I'm able to complete the mission. So, see you in a second. Come on, come on. Oh, my, oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, my God. Get out of the car. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Um. Oh, whoa, that worked. Sweet. Oh, my God. Okay, I thought that I had to actually ram into the booth. I didn't realize that I could just make something explode next to it. Oh, my God. I'm breathing such a heavy sigh of relief right now. You have no idea. That is actually about the fourth or fifth attempt of that mission. I failed that a couple of times off screen. Um, so I'm definitely glad that I cut the video rather than saying I'd fast forward it because oh god oh god get out of this oh geez yeah okay you know what the thing that's making this mission so hard is the fact that the mafia and a bunch of other gangs are pissed off at me and um those mafia guys walking around some of them have shotguns are you fucking kidding me they have motherfucking shotguns and they were just blasting buckshot in my ass and it was not cool um, you know, I don't think it would be a hard mission at all, except for that little factoid. And um, the fact that they blew me up, and I failed the mission because of that a couple of times. Um, what game developer, what sick, twisted fuck over at Rockstar was like, Oh, hey, let's give the Mafia guys shotguns, and when you drive past them, they can blow you up in two hits. Because that's ridiculous. So, to whatever sick developer decided to put that into the game, I hate you. I really, really hate you. I hope that you choke on a pretzel. Ugh, okay, but you know what? We're through the worst of it. We are done with the mission. So let's just go ahead and go back to Asuka. Hopefully we got a slightly less frustrating mission on our plate next. Although I kind of doubt it, because the game seems to be kicking it into overdrive here. 
Um, a bunch of people are warning me in the comments and over private message and stuff that I'm getting close to the end of the game. So, uh, I'm bracing myself. Um, just to remind you guys, though, I still haven't done any of those payphone missions, so, uh... Before the final mission of the game, I'm probably going to go back and take all of those, because I think that there are... Like, three or four payphones that I need to go and do missions for, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, I find it really lazy that Rockstar program most of their missions to be given over payphone. Because it's just like, you were lazy and you didn't want to animate real cutscenes, so you just made them payphone missions, obviously. But okay, Sam! Wait for turn black and fall off. Give it a quick prod. Asuka, marry me, I love you! I want to be your love slave. My handyman. I was bored, so I came over to keep Maria, you bitch. I never wanted to see you again. Why are you back? She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. There's a plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. Oh, I'll stash something, all oh, right. Ow. Me, baby. Now try the chili oil. Oh my god, these women! They're fucking crazy, but I love them. I really do. Okay, let's go ahead and do this thing. Oh my god, that's not very much time at all. Oh, you know, any mission that involves a boat, I just instantly hate. So I'm expecting this to go terribly. Woo! Keep your fingers crossed for me, guys. God knows I'm gonna need it. Okay. Seriously, I forgot all about Maria. I didn't even remember she was, like, in this game, but I hate her. Because she's the reason why all these gangs are pissed off at me. It would have been totally fine. I would have been a made man in the Mafia if it wasn't for her. But, um, actually, guys, I'm sorry. I haven't taken a moment during this entire episode to go ahead and say hi to everyone. Uh, so, hi out there. I hope that your day is going well. And, uh, yeah. I just hope that your day is so special and that all of your friends love you and that your day is freaking fantastic and that your parents fucking give you hugs and kisses and shit and that it's all perfect and nothing sucks. That is what I want for each and every one of you because I love you all! Yes, I do. Even the red-headed ones. I love all of you. Okay, maybe not the red-headed ones. I love you all slightly less than the rest of you. I'm sorry, that's just terrible. I have no idea where that even came from. I apologize. I'm sorry. We are here at the dock. Let's just move on and pretend it never happened. Because it didn't. What are you talking about? You're crazy. I'm crazy. We're all crazy. Here, take some pills. We got Vicodin, we got Morphine, we got Advil liquid gels, take your pick, mix them all together, take a shot with it, drink some vodka! I'm just kidding, I of course don't advocate for any of that at all. What you choose to do on your own time with your own damn body is your own business. And I'm gonna try and focus on the game, because for some reason I just feel like firing off on random tangents today. Have you noticed that? Because I've noticed that, and I don't really know what it is. Maybe it was because I got dropped on my head when I got out of bed this morning. I kind of rolled out of bed and just hit my head on the ground because I'm clumsy. And what do I do now? Um, shoot the plane down? Okay, this sounds easy enough. Where's it going to come from, though? Well, okay, duh. It, that's a really stupid question. It's going to come out of the sky, of course, unless it's one of those underwater planes, in which case we're all doomed. But, um, seriously, I have no idea what place I should be looking at or if I'm even positioned correctly. Oh well, let's just wait for the countdown. It's the final countdown! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-
Um, before I go, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video and try that mission again because that was really weird. I didn't realize the plane was going to fly in that quickly. I was not ready at all. Um, but before I cut the video back, let me go ahead and finish the little rant I was on. I wish that I was able to get some kind of bump off of coffee because I know lots of people who, like, can't even drink coffee without getting jittery. And I am so jealous of that because no energy drink, no caffeinated beverage I've ever had does that for me. I mean, I could probably do a line of fucking coke and not get anything out of it. Okay, that's probably not true. I'm exaggerating. If I did coke, which you should never do, by the way, I would probably get high off of it. But that's not the point. My point, which I'm trying to make, and I'm kind of failing at it, is that I wish coffee had more of an effect on me because I would really enjoy that. Because there's some days where I'm really slow and sluggish, and coffee would really help me. Anyway, this is not one of those days, clearly. Um, I'll see you guys back once I retake the mission. It's the final countdown. Okay, let's shoot down this plane. We got this shit. I got this shit on lock. I got this shit on lock. Whoa, holy crap. Um, oh wait, hold. <sighs> oh, sorry guys, I... <sighs> oh, I had to sneeze. Okay, I am so sorry about that. Maybe I should just cut that out, except I don't want to because I blew up the plane. So I guess my sneezes are gonna stay in the video. Oh well. Yeah, my allergies just started acting up like crazy and I can't figure out why. But, um, hey, Claude, you wanna get off the damn boat? That'd be nice. And uh, also, we gotta pick up these packages. And, oh crap, they're up on that ledge. Can I even get up there? Shit, okay, and there's dudes here. That's just lovely. I guess I should have expected that. So, let's just assess the situation here. Um, I don't know how to get up on the runway. Or not on the runway, but on the tarmac, I guess. And we have a four-star wand level. This is just beautiful. I love it when missions just throw all this inconveniencing crap in your face like this. Alright, so basically this actually kind of reminds me of that one Donald Love mission that we did a little while back where we had to pick up all those packages out of the water. Except this time we actually have to fight our way through a bunch of dudes. Which I don't like. Alright, you know what? I just want to grenade these guys, but it doesn't seem to be working that well. I think I got that one guy. Well, no, he just stood back up. Hopefully he's dead for realsies this time. Um, oh my god, oh my god. Let's just clear out these guys. They're such a pain in the ass. All right, um, 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 where are those packages? I could really use them right now. Okay, they all landed in the same damn spot. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, 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 it's the delivery CPD, blah, blah, blah. I've outrun you guys. I outran a six-star wand level in the last episode. Nothing scares me at this point. There is nothing you can possibly throw at me, except maybe if you somehow created a seven-star wand level. I don't even know what would happen at that point. You probably just drop a nuke on the city. And let's not kid ourselves, you don't have the balls to even try it. So don't even come talk to me with your sissy four-star wand level. I've outrun shit tougher than this. I eat four-star wand levels for breakfast. Okay, so it's not enough to get the packages. We also have to get them back to Asuka, I presume. Um, I wonder how much more work we're going to do for her because once we're done with her, I can't really see who else we can go to for missions that would make any sense, unless the game is planning on introducing some new characters, but that'd be weird, especially this close to the end of the game. Um, okay, come on, come on, let's just, oh my god, oh, really, this boat's handling sucks. Just reverse! I'm holding down the reverse button! Could you go any slower? Probably not. Oh my god, oh shit, I'm on fire, ah, oh my god. Fuck, 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 okay. Um, you know what? I take it back. Four-star wand levels do scare me. Alright, let's just... Oh, good. My car's still here. I was really worried about that. Um, let's get out of here before Johnny Law shows up. Oh, shit. I hear cop cars. Alright. Asuka, you... What the hell? Uh, what? Wow. He just bailed over the edge. That's great. Um, luckily this car is pretty fast. However, I'm kind of considering switching vehicles because it is about to blow up. Oh, God. And that probably didn't help. None of this is helping. Okay, okay. Let me compose myself here for a second. We can do this. I just don't want to have to do this mission all over again. That would suck. All right, so what's some epic car chase music? Um, the mission is clear. I'm going over there. I'm going to do the mission. 
flip around the corner, flat as a pancake, and then I low the camera. Stay back here, devise a plan, and dive into the bushes. Against all odds, infiltrate while storm the gates. Ninja style, samurai storm the gates. Anything, and I mean anything, that that man does, and by that man I mean Jack Black of Tenacious D, anything that man does is pure gold and ecstasy. Alright, mission complete. Wait, what? Ransom? What the shit? I've got your precious Maria if you don't want her fa- what? Oh, you killed Asuka! What the shit?! Now we'll never get laid, fuck! Catalina, you bitch! You cross the goddamn line! You can kidnap Maria if you want, because I, I really don't care about her. You can kill Miguel. He really wasn't of any importance, and he was stealing my thunder anyway. But you kill Asuka, and you cross the goddamn line! Catalina, we coming for you! Alright, but that will be in a later episode, not the next episode, because... What it sounds like, at least, is that that's going to be the final mission of the game, I'm guessing. You guys can correct me on that if I'm wrong. But, in the next episode, we are going to begin doing the payphone missions that I skipped earlier in the game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go back and do all those. And once we have worked our way through all the payphone missions, then we will confront Catalina and get our sweet, sweet revenge. But uh, anyway, guys, that'll be later on. Thank you for joining me here today. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to subscribe to me, and that way you can stay updated anytime I post new videos to my channel. But anyway, guys, it's been a whole lot of fun. Until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace! Damn it, I'm never going to get laid. Never. Fuck. <laughs>